act of and said on more than one occasion. Myself, I am not so sure. Recent events have led me to conclude that exposure to the MPD may in fact be corrupting and clouding our cognitive processes. Speaking to my own personal experiences, I am reminded that I had a dream about Max's daughter, Samantha. The child may have been a frequent visitor to Eagle's Nest, but the idea that she could be here on Griffin Station, the moon, defies explanation. It is essential that we re-establish contact with Eagle's Nest in order to fully understand our current predicament. Given that it is now over two weeks since contact was lost with Dr. Richthofen, along with the fact that all intel would appear to suggest that the Doris facility itself may have fallen to the enemy, I am forced to take drastic action. As of now, and for the foreseeable future, I have decided to assume full operational command of Group 935. All further tests involving the MPD are on hold until such times as we can guarantee the safety and security of all personnel currently based at Griffin Station. And so it pains me to say, we have to assume that Operation Shield is unlikely to succeed as originally planned. Group 935 has defied all those who doubted our cause. Since the discovery of Element 115, we have achieved so much. Our weapons program alone has advanced beyond even our wildest expectations. Furthermore, the fact that we have been able to establish a permanent base of operations on the moon itself leaves me filled with optimism for the future. We can literally do anything. in Division 9 have made great strides with their own research and development, though I must confess to having had my own doubts regarding the feasibility of their more ambitious weapons designs. Successful field trials suggest that we may be able to deploy the specimen as early as this winter. Assuming progress remains on track, we may finally be able to break the stalemate on the Eastern Front. Despite the fact that all testing of the MPD has been put on hold, we have nonetheless observed a series of unprecedented and, dare I say it, erratic behaviors exhibited by the pyramid. Comms, interference, and power outages have become commonplace, leaving many fearful for their own safety. The perimeter guards on the exclusion zone have reported hearing voices emanating from the MPD, though external recordings do not corroborate their testimony. Several individuals reported hearing the same exact words. I must go to her. The loop must be closed. While most accounts claim that the words were spoken by an unidentified individual, several seem to believe that the quotation came from Dr. Max. That, I know, is not possible. Such is the increasing atmosphere of paranoia that we have taken to ensuring the placement of survival suits throughout the facility, just in case essential life support systems should fail. <laughs> 